Um, welcome to Restless Chipotle Kitchen. Today I am making shepherd's pie, but not just any shepherd's pie. I'm making shepherd's pie with leftover pot roast. The thing about it is, is I don't know how your family is, but my family does not like leftovers. And so in order to make the best use of my food budget, and to handle all of the leftovers, I have to find ways to make them not seem like leftovers. Well, when we have a pot roast in the crock pot, there's usually quite a bit left over because I'm used to um, cooking for a big family and over the years my family has shrunk and I just can't seem to get the hang of cooking for four people or five people instead of 10 people. So, um, I came up with this uh, leftover pot roast shepherd's pie several years ago, and it has been a hit. It is delicious. It's that super tender pot roast that you cooked all day in the slow cooker, and then with topped with gravy and um, carrots and green beans and mashed potatoes and cheese. It's everything it is so good and it is so easy i mean literally since everything is cooked it just takes minutes so let's go over the kitchen and get started so you make sure your leftover pot roast or roast beef is shredded uh pretty small you know you don't want big chunks and then you're going to take some cooked carrots and sprinkle those over the top and you're gonna to wanna to sprinkle them evenly. Next, you're gonna take some cooked green beans. And if you happen to have green beans and carrots with your dinner, make extra so that you have them left over. And you're gonna sprinkle those over the top. Now, I'm telling y'all, this is easy. We're going to take cream of mushroom soup and a packet of um, beefy onion soup mix and a little bit of milk. Now, depending on how, um, how much juice your leftover pot roast has on it, you may need more or less milk. I'm gonna start with about a fourth of a cup and mix that in and see what we end up with. Probably could have used a bigger bowl. That a little bit thinner because I want it to run down into the roast beef or the pot roast, the leftover pot roast. We keep it real here with dogs barking and everything else. Really kind of frustrating sometimes, but this is our house and this is how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to need the entire half cup of milk in this. I don't want it to be like soup, but I do want it to be a thick gravy. So it's going to be running about like that, about like a thick gravy. Okay, once we have that, we're going to spoon that over the, um, the vegetables and the meat and kind of spread it around so it gets in there evenly. Now it's going to go down into, as it bakes, it's going to, the gravy will go down into the meat some people mix the meat with the gravy and then put the vegetables on top. That's fine too. This is my preference, but if you want to have more of the gravy on the meat and uh, less gravy on the vegetables or no gravy on the vegetables, then you know feel free to do it that way. But all right, so we're gonna kind of make sure that gets down there, and then I'm gonna take mashed potatoes and put them right on top. Now your mashed potatoes, you can um, mash your own potatoes, you can use instant potatoes, you can use mashed potatoes from the store. However you wanna do it, whatever's easiest for you. Sometimes I will, I, I usually make my own mashed potatoes, but sometimes I'll cheat a little bit and I'll grab one of those, um, those packages of 
mashed potatoes at Costco that are already mashed. They're pretty good and they work just fine for this. So do whatever it is that is going to make it quick and easy for you. As long as it's good, we don't care how it gets there. Someday, when you're not busy, maybe you will have time to make everything from scratch and not use any convenience foods. But probably today is not the day, right? All right. Um, I have this pretty full. I probably should have used a bigger pan. And so I'm going to put make sure that I put that on a baking sheet to when I bake it. But so our mashed potatoes are on there. And then the last thing we do is just sprinkle some cheese on there and how much you put on is up to you. I'm putting about half a cup of grated cheddar cheese on there and it is ready to go in the oven. Here it is y'all, just out of the oven. I let it set for a few minutes so that the juices could settle, but the cheese is melty, the, um, the gravy is all over everything, including the outside of my pan. The potatoes are crispy on the top. It's perfect. This is, to me, this is a perfect shepherd's pie and the perfect way to use up any kind of leftover pot roast, roast beef or whatever. So let's dig in and see how it is. Oh, look at that gravy. Look, look at that, the meat and the gravy and the carrots and the green beans are all right there. Doesn't that look delicious? Well, except for the messy side. And it is delicious. So let's go over and talk about it. So y'all, here's mine. Doesn't that look easy? It is, it is such an easy thing to make. And you can make it a day or two ahead of time and have it in your refrigerator ready to go when you are. And because the mashed potatoes are mashed and they've got uh, milk and everything in them, you can actually freeze this for another time. So let's take a bite and see what I think. I know what I'm gonna think. It's so good. And it's got that creamy gravy and with that onion flavor in it, it takes it right over the top. The carrots are delicious. The mashed potatoes are delicious. Everything is delicious. I love this meal. I hope you'll try it. If you do, go over to the blog and let me know what you think, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see y'all here next week, okay? Love y'all, bye-bye.